A bad day for bragging parents. Okay. Oh. No, this is good. Bragging parents are proud parents, isn't it? Well, yeah, I think all parents brag a little bit, but a new survey reveals parents boasting online is driving social media anxiety to unprecedented levels. Ah, okay. Go so ahead. have you ever watched people uh, bragging about their kids or doing things with their kids that were, made you feel inadequate? Never. Because your life is your life. I don't care what you're doing. Okay. I mean, because you know what? Yeah, I mean... I, I totally understand when somebody puts something up and they're proud of their kids. I completely understand that. And anytime somebody goes overboard, I just, okay. Good okay, feel. this is an example. First of all, that's a wise attitude that's very healthy. Yep. I myself have experienced some anxiety. So it's fall, October 1st, pumpkin spice. Every one of my friends has taken their kids to a pumpkin patch or apple picking. And I look at my kids and I'm like, you got me. <laughs> we haven't done any of those things. Um, and I look at the pictures, and you, you're happy they went. You're not mad, but you're like, Max, should we be going to the, like pick apples or something with our young babies? Because everyone else has a cute outfit on, is posting from a patch somewhere near, I, uh, but, near but, New York City. But most people do it just to post. You know, it, I it, believe it, them. In that moment, they just seem like amazing parents. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what they want you. That's what they want you to well, believe. And not saying that because a lot of them may be amazing parents, and they a lot of people do parents. do that. But I never look at someone else's life and go, "Oh, if I, if I want to do it, I just do it." I don't mean to. I look and I'm like, "What a great family!" Oh, you're in a pumpkin patch. Oh. This is the fourth pumpkin patch I've scrolled past today. <laughs> as we sit in our living room in Brooklyn doing nothing. But sometimes, but sometimes I don't post a lot of things because I feel like I don't want to seem, seem like I'm trying to show off or say, well, look what I'm doing. Yeah. I gotta hold back, to be honest with you. No, but it's funny because I, I also have friends that know they're doing that and they continue to do because it. Because they like, know it's getting to you. It's driving me bonkers. You should have said, oh, I saw you at the pumpkin patch. Oh, I own that pumpkin patch. Thank you for going. <laughs> I'm going to sit my kids down in a living room with pumpkin spice and be like, happy fall. <laughs> um, no, but we actually polled our audience. Okay. Uh, oh, our asked, audience. Yeah. Okay. 26% of our audience said it does stress them out. 74% are a little wiser, a little more Buddha-esque like Michael, and they are they do not care. Okay. But we did ask them, what do parents post online that drives you nuts? We got the top three. Okay. What, what, Too many what baby pictures is number three. <laughs> yes. Okay. No. There's a, there, I don't, I like a throwback baby picture. Too many currents, it's like, okay, I get it. But I like a good throwback because the hair is like, a, I like a good throwback. Wait, what I don't like is when your kids are your profile picture. Because if I want to be friends with your kids, I'll send them a friend request. <laughs> I, I'll nev you'll never see me do that. Um, two, this one I think everyone can get on board with, political posts. Yeah. I've had to break up with some of my parents' friends. <laughs> well, you get a little worn down. There's just so much going on every day, and then when you got to read it on something that's supposed to remove your mind from what's going on and you're reading about it, it does wear you down. You want okay, mind I get that. pumpkin patches, and then you get a political <laughs> post, and you just hate it. And then the number one reason was posting personal conversations oh. publicly. <laughs> that one. I love it. Yes! Our audience announcer has a lot of pent-up social media. <laughs> Anxiety. But your personal conversation, why would you do that? It's between me and you. My, the worst to me is the relationship confessions. Michael, I love you more today than the day I got married to you. Every day you prove you're the type of man I want our children to be. When I woke up this morning and you surprised me in bed with breakfast, you're like, Seriously, roll over. Tell him. <laughs> Why are we doing this on here? Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.